And then, Carl, you could probably look up a 20-minute video of like, hey, guys, what's up? I've got to talk about my sponsor before we show you how to get to Blaine. I will never get over that guy you talked about who uploaded an eight-second video of, I hate when people do this, here's how you fix <laughs> yeah. the problem. Because you just had a problem with your PC or something like that, they want you to fix it, and it's just, oh, here's a 10-second video of the guy that says, here's how you fix yeah. it, and that's it. Cool, we can't get up that way. Like, shout out to that legend who um, gave um, Fact Fiend sh shit for not getting to the point quick enough. And then someone, uh, a fan of the channel, broke down what all the channels do. It's like 30 second intro, <laughs> three minutes talking about sponsor, um, a minute to talk about smashing the like button and doing it, 30 seconds of actual content. Uh, sponsor, 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 bullshit stuff. Fact Fiend, five second intro, 15 minutes of solid content. <laughs> Oh. Right, so this ladder just leads nowhere. Yeah, this is the ladder to just, like, death. I've just oh, used a repel. Me. Leave me alone. It's a strong fucking slow A bro. level 50 yeah! slow bro. It is in it. And I don't want it. I'm so confused. I just want to fight Blaine. I remember being a kid as well. If I'm remembering as well, I fucking hate Blaine for this reason. <laughs> I'm doing it. I'm, I'm like, I'm just gonna. Give me a minute. I'll cut this bit out. Oh, Carl, we've been a fool. What have we done? Um. So yeah, you just walk into Seafoam Island. Please, please don't tell me. Don't tell me it's like the first. Yeah, because I walked down these steps, thinking it's that. Oh, how many fucking people are gonna be bitching out? Uh, right yeah, that's gonna be twenty minute episode. That I might just like have to put the start. We fucked up. I might just have to name just that put. episode. We fucked up. Name the episode, we know. <laughs> we already you know. know someone's going to be about that. Uh, yeah, I guess let's just end on a bit of a higher note and go kill Blaine quickly. Yeah, let's fuck it. Fuck the trouble he caused us. The absolute trouble. Because I just thought, well, in the Seafoam Islands, he must be in the Seafoam Islands, but no. Yeah, well, especially when he's talking like oh, IQ now. So, okay, cool. So it's after you bump into IQ now. Yeah, it mentioned to us, like, go past where you find Articuno. It's like, okay. Oh, this Arcanine. He's ready. I love that Arcanine it's sprite. It. It's such a good sprite. Such a good boy. We haven't really been able to see Arcanines in this game or Growlithe because he's um, in Heart because... Gold. Plus as well, all they keep giving us is fucking Growlithe. No one uses the Evolved <laughs> yeah. version of anything in this game. Oh, extreme speed. Goodbye. I love how he uses extreme speed and it hits us three times very slowly. Really slowly, yeah. That would be so infuriating though, wouldn't it? If... The, this yeah, Pokemon it's, it's starts so moving so fast it's invisible to the naked eye. But then it just slaps you once. <laughs> it just slowly slaps you a couple of times. It's like, god damn it. That's, that's why I think double slap is the best animation in the game. Yeah. It's just the most insulting one. Oh, he's like, oh, okay, well, I'm going to back away. Could you beat me? Like, who the fuck is it? to tell me what I can and can't do when Blaine hides his entire gym. <laughs> Who are you to tell me that I like, am not allowed to fight Blaine? When Blaine himself is like ignoring the rules of being a fucking gym leader. Yeah. He's like, oh yeah, I set up a gym in a cave somewhere. It's like, okay, great. I can't wait for kids to try and challenge this gym. <laughs> Mom, why, why can you drive me to the fucking cave? <laughs> is that Because that's the thing is we, um, we mentioned sometimes of like the gyms aren't necessarily meant to be in a specific order in the world of Pokemon. Yeah. But what about if your first gym leader is meant to be Blaine? And it's like, oh, where is he? Well, he's in the middle of the ocean. And like, you've got to have Pokemon to no surf. You've got to go yeah. fight a bunch of level 50 trainers. Oh, God, no. And then... Uh... Uh, bear in mind, well, uh, do you know what those trainers will be? They'd be the guy outside the fucking game shop. Oh, until yeah. Until you're not allowed in unless you have questions about Yu-Gi-Oh. It's like, do you work here? No. So what the fuck am I listening to you then? Bollocks to you. Yeah. So we've all met those guys, haven't we? Oh, yeah. You, like, pretend they or you act like they work somewhere just because they spend all the time. It's like, no, just because you've not got a social life doesn't mean you fucking work here. <laughs> oh, there we go. So that should just one shot at all the goal. Yeah. I put a 
It reminds me of like uh, my days when I'd be on forums and stuff. Oh yeah. And the people who weren't moderators, but because they spent their entire life on the forum, acted like they were. Yeah, yeah. And would talk to people like, oh, you can't do that. And they'd act like, you know, they are able to just tell you what to do. It's like, who the fuck? <laughs> you've spent all your time on this website. It's not going to have to listen to your dickhead. Oh, here we go. Paul McCargo as well. Where is just the evolutions for McCargo and Torko? No. The, Those like, Gen 4 like, evolutions that we got where it's like, oh yeah, we got Magmorta and Rhyperia. I think of everything that I'd like to know, that third evolution that they needed. Mm -hmm. but, oh god. Yeah, because I'm always reminded when it comes to shit like that of, uh, oh god, back when he was like cracked. Some of the people on that who never actually wrote any articles, they never wrote a single article. Oh ever, really? But they were, in, they were in the writer's group because they were on the forum. Oh. And they were so big on the forum, they basically just bullheaded their way into being part of the writer's forum. Oh, God. That must be infuriating. Yeah. And I remember, like, trying to, like, you know, join, um, just talk to someone, and it's like, well, actually, Carl, we're having a conversation right now. It's like, you're having a conversation in the public fucking group chat. <laughs> they were having a conversation in the group chat. It's like, well, Carl, this is actually, you know, for people who've been on the site for a while. It's like, I've got, like, 10 published articles, dickhead. Oh, God. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> and oddly enough, I don't interact with anyone from that um, town of my life anymore. Yeah, yeah. Because they are all penises. Oh, God. I, uh... I like that. We're, we're going to rebuild this gym, he says, as they've hidden in the middle of a cave somewhere. I will say, though, Blaine, as, like, just the swag master extraordinary. <laughs> he is, yeah. Oh, Noobal! He says it all as well, like, who's Blaine surrounded by fucking nerds. <laughs> like, the game shop, like, uh, comparisons are really starting to ring out. And I was going to ignore those guys because I just wanted to go fight Blaine and then realise they're the only form of they're XP. All... Yeah. They're all really easy XP for Arthur. Oh, not that new man. I, I love, absolutely just adore my Omega Ruby um, Numal like that Numel. took me through the entire game. Just the simple EVO like Numal that can't be stopped. Simple, that was it, yeah, not Numal. Yeah. Simple. At Numel. the moment you let Numal get a curse off, it's like, oh god, no. <laughs> There's nothing you can do. He slowed himself down. It's like he just doubled his defences. It's like he planted himself and bolted the fuck up. He just did the Captain America, didn't he? <laughs> Sometimes you got to plant your feet and just say no. I will not give up. Look at this cave. It's shit. We've turned it into a gym. I'm still acting as gym You could have put a fucking sign next to your ladder. Yeah. Like, you could have done anything. Like, you didn't put a note outside the cave. You didn't put a sign Nothing. next to the ladder. You just went, I'm in a cave somewhere, mate. Oh, that is a oh! sick animation, though. Oh, he's got, like, the little star on his head. The shiny-ass head. Now, do you want to be helpful in that situation? Like you said, a sign. Yeah. A, no a notice. Just, oh, you know what? Put one of your fucking weird nerds outside to stand there. And literally gatekeep. Yeah. <laughs> as they are meant to do. You know, it, it is their purpose to gatekeep. Well, every single gym them. has that guy that like gives you advice when you oh, walk dude. in. Why is he not just stood next to the ladder like the yeah, airplane's up here, by the way? They don't go down into that cave. It's full of fucking like, trainers who are surfboarding everywhere. <laughs> yeah. God, I hate gatekeepers so goddamn much. I remember like, my crack days whenever I think back to it, I had a laugh. Oh, really? It was that bad? I, I I laugh just at the the level of like where people would come in and that I remember one it's just one of the things that made me just stop interacting with that community like in its entirety is when a guy posted like a thread of like oh here's an article pitch which people did it's like you know open submissions in an open forum mm. and someone just posted like oh this is really shit and they were dunking on the guy for being crap it's like we were all there yeah we all started exactly where this guy is right now. Mm. And I realised, like, that's not the kind of energy I need to surround myself with, so I just stopped interacting with it. I mean, it turns out a bunch of people from that website and it'll be weird to text. Oh, God, of course, up. yeah. yeah. I, I do absolutely hate that, though, of, well, I've already got good at this craft. Fuck anyone that isn't. It's like, yeah. but you were shit at some point. Oh, my God, that magma. Oh, my God. Overheat. It's not very effective, but, God damn it, hurt. Oh, has he got, oh, has he got a white herb? 
Oh god! Yeah! No. Tactic, yeah! Doubles tactic, let's go! The sunlight. Oh, because it had the sun the strong sun. Oh yeah, of course, yeah. It's like the most powerful fire type move from a pretty like hefty fire type Pokemon. Yeah, fuck it. Ukaki! Rock slide, yeah. Ukaki coming in. Oh! Yeah. Look at my snail. Look at my flame. You know what? Let's ancient power it. Go let's go for the ancient power. Oh god, the oh, fucking yeah, confused yeah, yeah, right. No. It looks so cool. It does look it's really cool. Right, it's a ball. It's just a ball of energy. That's confusing. No! Oh, that's what... So what I think there is that your snail, you look over and it very slowly crashed into a wall. <laughs> <laughs> but you had like a good five minutes to warn it and it didn't. It's like Ukaki, no, please. Oh, oh, God, that's, rough. Oh, that's rough. It's not very effective, but goddamn, it feels effective in this heat. Yeah. Why are there, as well, are the little, like, things going around in head? Why are they not Pokemon? <laughs> Why are they not, like, Pidgey Sprites? Little Psyducks or something. There we go. Fuck him up! Come on, please give us the oh, Get boost. the boost. Please. We, we need the boost. We deserve it. Come on. Nah, not quite. Ah. He's going to use Overheat again. Hopefully it won't do too much damage, though. Should we go for the Recover? Oh, God. Oh. Bollocks. Oh. Blaine, you fucking prick. Please get the boost. Ukaki. We could do, do this. It. Come on. Boost, 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 boost. I don't oh, think it's going to happen. I'm, like, cro I'm crossing my fingers for the boost. We'll, we'll recover. It. It's, the it's so high. It is, yeah. You get the truth. Oh. I, I do respect that as well. He's um used, used overheat, attacks, lowered right? his special attacks, so now he's using physical moves. I mean, Blaine's the only trainer we've fought so far that's actually using a fucking tactic. Yeah. I mean, Magmar's a shit Pokemon, but he's actually had a decent, you know, build on this Magmar. Exactly, yeah. They've used the overheat in sunny in the sun for the damage. Use the white herb so you can use it twice and then go to like Magmar's not got bad physical attack. He's just a better special attack. Yeah, and um that's one thing I loved doing with um my Arcanine, Arcanine. set is like not it, white herb. But I'd give it a weakness policy. Oh yeah, you made a bulky Arcanine because no one ever expects bulky Arcanine. Yeah, so like bulky Arcanine, um, you obviously get that intimidate, so physical moves do less damage as well. And then it's you tank the super effective hit, you get weakness policy, weakness which doubles policy. your um, attack and attack special, special attack, but keep overheat on there. And then you get a double powered overheat that just resets to normal special attack. Yeah, and then you can just use extreme speed with your double attack. Mm -hmm. It's a good tactic, but why don't you just go on Smogon and make what they say? <laughs> just keep going. For, fuck it, ancient power. I want it. Keep doing it. He's I got one it. more Pokemon, and I'd really like to keep Ukaki in this fight. Yeah. Come hey. on. Ancient snail. The power of a snail. Ooh, that was a lot of damage. It was. We'll get that recover off again. So who catches a Pokemon with a tit on its head? <laughs> this is what I want. This is what I want to base my entire personality around. Pokemon with tits on its head. Yeah, Magmod does look awful. It's terrible. Magmortal looks worse. Yeah. Because Magmortal looks like a Digimon. <laughs> and when, it, when I use the descriptor, it looks like a Digimon, I mean it looks shit yes. and over-designed. That's why all Mega Pokemon look terrible. Because they all like Digimon. There's a few that I really like, but yeah, a lot of them overstep Most it. Most of them look terrible. Uh, there we go. Ancient power. We ancient need power. more power. The, the power of the ancients. Come on. But one of these five ancient powers. Gotta do it. Please. We tried. We tried. That was like what? Got one more. Chance. We've got one we've got, more. We've got one more. I believe. It's like flipping a coin. It is. It really is. I want to know what a fucking speedy Magma, uh, Macago looks like. <laughs> this rapid snail. Oh, we got this. Repeat snail. Come on. Nah. Oh, at least sunlight fate. Fuck it. Rock sliding. I thought it was just permanent sunlight. It lasted that long. No, he used it twice. Oh, did he? Yeah, I just missed one. Yeah, yeah. He, used, he, he used one twice while you were recovering. Oh, yeah, of course he did, yeah. Snap that confusion. I guess we just rock slide. No. You have a chance. You have... Oh, I died. Ugh. Come on, Ukaki. Ukaki. Yeah, Ukaki. Powerful. I'm gonna just keep him in and hope. 
Rapidash. Rapidash is, yeah, very frail. Uh, but if Rapidash... It's going to outspeed Oh, my God. It might 59. use bounce. It could use bounce, but it might also no drill run. Either way, I'd say to go for the box line. It's, it's going to kill us before, so I'm just going to hyper potion oh, okay. first. I'm going to say go for the YOLO rock slide. That, that is a good sprite for Rapidash. It really is. I love yeah. as well that it says that, um, yeah, bounce, called it. So now, we, because it's going to hit us first, rock slide, just take yeah. it out. Yeah. Perfect. Well, it won't take out, and I don't they think. They say that Rapidash can control the temperature of its flames, so if it trusts you. Oh, It'll, yeah. Like, you, you can ride it. And I think that is the most baller-looking thing ever of a person riding on a horse that's on fire. <laughs> uh, it looks so fucking cool. It really does, Doesn't yeah. Doesn't have, like, one of the, have one of the best um, uh, shiny sprites? Because it looks like it's, it's grey, isn't it? The flames turn grey, so it looks like it's made out of smoke. It's like the mist horse. Yeah, I've got um, a shiny ponytail that I'm just like... Still, I don't know what to do with it, because it's like... I love the, the smoky looking Rapidash, but I also love the blue flames on the Ponytar. So it's like yeah, level 90 the... and I still haven't decided whether I'm going to evolve it or not. Because with the blue flames, it looks like it burns hotter, but when it's got like the smoky mist Rapidash, yeah. and it, like, then you teach it double team. Yeah, true. It's like... I um, Yeah, because I'm getting it to level 100 because it's um, just a shiny that I caught on um, a catch combo in Pokemon Let's Go. Ah, uh, so you... So you want to get it to the level 100 to get the... Uh, to use the, the bottle training. caps on it and get it to perfect... Perfect little nice. shiny Rapidash. It's not very effective. Because, yeah, That's in um, oh, the it? Let's Go games, it was super easy to get shiny Pokemon. Which is why... It's the same in, like, uh, Pokemon Go, isn't it? You can transfer Pokemon from Pokemon Go, including a legendary... That's only in Pokemon Go. That's super fucking broken OP or something. That Melmetal. Oh, right, yeah, of course, yeah. It has, like, Iron Fist, and it has, like, a, like base 160 attack or something Of stupid. course. Great. Because I've, um, well. I've got the baby version of it, but I've not got, like, 100 of them to combine into the Melmetal. Yeah. The Meltan, that's yeah. it. And Meltan's really cute. But the Melmetal. It's just an abomination, and I hate it. it. Sounds like a Digimon. The worst bit is Blaine, if you'd not built this in a cave, Rock Slide would on last damage. Because <laughs> what you've basically done is like your Pokemon has just ruined this fucking gym. <laughs> just, just give me that fucking you know what? Out. Get another fucking Pokemon, Jim. I'm just going to bring this down. So we've got Overheat now. We've got well. Overheat. So we've got Amakago. We've got the most powerful fire type move for Amakago. I like that. Oh, I think he does rebuild the gym, doesn't he? Well. I think that's what it says, yeah. Gym. You go in and rematch him and come back. You get his Never number and you call him on a Tuesday and you can rematch him in his gym. Why on Tuesday? Fuck you. Why? You're a Pokemon gym leader. You work 9 <laughs> No, no. He works like 11 to 1 p.m. on a fucking Tuesday, Carl. You know that is a That is a sick gig. <laughs> it is, yeah. That's a good gig. He works two hours a week. <laughs> like, what does he do? Run Amazon or something? Oh, God. There we go. So I'm going to go to Cinnabar. And we'll speak to Blue, to... kick him back to Viridian, and we'll leave it there. Let him know. That like Blue was, was stronger than we were five minutes ago. We got lost in a Not cave, we found ago. a badge, and now we're ready. What happens if you find one on the floor? Oh god, that looked terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> Catch this flame snail. <laughs> I'd love that. Oh yeah, my, my cargo needs uh, healing up a little bit. And then you just put place like this flaming snail on the top of the counter. Like, oh god, no! Isn't there a thing as well? Like one of the like in the show, there's a Pokemon that weighs like three hundred pounds, and one of the characters just casually carries it around. Like someone's carrying like around like a Bonsley. Oh, Bonsley, yeah. And and it weighs like two hundred pounds, <laughs> and they're just ridiculous. casually carrying it around. I'll be waiting for you. Oh, I'm annoyed though; it doesn't have the hair flick anymore. <laughs> Johnny walks and his hair goes from side yeah. to side because he's just flicking his fringe. I adore that animation. It's the, uh, 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 <laughs> like the uh, straw. Uh. The blue straw. It's the fucking the swag. Yeah. Just chase it. Why can't you just get a lift on his fucking uh, Pokemon? So I'm coming straight there to battle you. So I'm, I'm wondering, like, I'm guessing that's all the bullshit with Blue gone. Yeah. Blue is just in his gym, I think. Yeah, you can just go in now, look. The gatekeeper's here. Yes! Yes! Puzzles! 
save the game, Lucas. Already. Do we want to save? Yes, we do. <laughs> and 43 hours. I'm really sorry for that 18 hours we just spent in Seafoam Islands getting lost. But put a sign next to your ladder, Blaine. God damn it. Put your sign. Like, we made the natural assumption. It's inside Seafoam Cave. Yeah. Surely, like, okay, it's inside Seafoam Cave. Oh, God. But yeah. Our bad. Our bad.